Yo, yo, YouTube, what's cracking? Got a brand new, freshly cleaned out spray booth. Thanks, Alan. Keep up the killer work. Support crew. Oh, what's going on with the booth? It does that sometimes. Usually uh, clears itself up. A bit damp on that one. Need the face. Yeah, so got a bit of a car yard job here. Front and rear bumpers on a Range Rover Sport. And a little bit on the left hand fender here. And the right hand rear quarter panel. Yeah, what's going on with that first? It, yeah, don't stress, it does this. Sometimes like letting the pressure open a bit. It's just had new filters changed right up the back there. Yeah, so just cut all those corners on the car yard jobs, you know. If this was an insurance one, we'd probably be painting the whole quarter panel, doing the fuel flap, all those little extra things that take a little bit extra time, but do make for a bit of a better job. Car yarders don't care. They're after the cheapest price, so you have to um, cut a couple of corners, but it's all good. It's still be a nice job on it. We've got the skills. Gany's got the skills to pay the bills. I don't mind doing this kind of work, I think it's alright. I know some people that are like, no, nope, no, nope, no, nope, not lowering my standards, and that's fine. If you don't want to do this kind of work, don't work in a shop that does it. <laughs> Easy as that. But yeah, being a car yard job, it's been covered in um, silicon. I had to take those bumpers, bumper covers out side and this morning first I just covered them in uh, degreaser and um, yeah just hose them down and dry them off but for the body I didn't want to go and do that get it all wet and have to dry it down and that so I just uh, thinners, thinners bath it see a couple of slight chips there I missed I'm going to just sand them out a bit and improve it and load it up with some quartz liquid glass this nice thick clear which I've been using lately love that stuff even Alan's noticed like an improvement in the, um, the gloss levels or the gloss retention and all that just take this down a little bit just to improve it but it's still there a little bit as I say I'll just load it up with clear and that's got rid of most of it anyway That boot sound, it sounds bad, but it still works. I think it's actually maybe even like a belt slipping or something. Probably just needs to tighten up. It sounds bad. It sounds worse than what it is. Might have to mention it to the booth guy when he comes out. I think he's meant to be coming back out again soon. But yeah, fingers crossed, we're not going to get too much silicon in this job. Like, I'm kind of expecting it because of the uh, silicon that's been sprayed all over the car. Kind of a pretty cool colour, this. I don't mind, it's like Coca Cola brown, like really dark, dark brown really close to black it's got like a bit of black in it um, and just like some red pearls and brown pearls in there I don't mind it like I personally would never drive it around on my own car because I would never own a black car well not for a daily driver anyway they're too hard to keep clean too much polishing required and that probably the darkest I go is what I've got on my Corolla that red wouldn't want to go much darker than that Yeah, I don't even know why I decided to make a video. I just, uh, I don't know, in a good mood. Feel like uh, having a chat to YouTube, talking to myself, essentially. I'm gonna use my awesome supernova on this. Why? Cause I can. And I want to. Yeah, that thing hoses the clear on with these new settings. 
Yeah, it's a funny one to set up, but once you get it set up properly, it's um, it's a beast. I think that could be something that turns a lot of painters off the supernova. I think it's a bit of a funny gun, but yeah, it's a hoser once you get it dialed in. All right, I'm gonna go get my airfed respirator set up. Got the base coat in the gun already. Back in a sec. Rightio, so yeah, as I said before, we're just chopping it off at this line. It's actually a perfect line to do so on. Um, I'll just polish that up and you will never know. Either I will polish it up depending on how busy I am or go out the back wheel. You've got a detail that it does. I'd say most of the polishing, but sometimes like maybe on a Friday or a Thursday when we're ahead on the paintwork but behind on the behind on the polishing, we'll go and give them a hand. So yeah, let's splash some colour down on this thing. Yeah, so most of the feedback, oh here we go, what's this guy want? Yo, what's up Bosco? He's taking the car as bumper or a kit. What car? A kit. There's what? Uh, so bumper, cover and the headlight and the light. It's inside the seat. Why did you tell me now? The car's been here all morning and you tell me when it's in the spray booth. I see it now. That's just, that's really annoying. Like, I'm not even painting it now. I'm painting it with the next job. They know about something. They don't follow their job through and communicate with you. What does it take when he brings the car over? Oh, we've got to paint this too, you know? Two seconds to open your mouth up and then he waits until I'm in the booth to say something. It's a bit rough, isn't it? Yeah, but um, I was about to say is that I had put the question out there, ask people if you can hear me when I'm spraying. Most people have said yes, they can. I, a couple of weeks ago I had someone say, oh, I can't hear you when you're spraying. This is a raw channel, no frills channel unedited videos you get to see the stuff that's left out of some of the edited videos so yeah um, this channel's not going to be for everyone that's fine if you don't want to watch raw footage of me spraying you don't have to um, if you can't hear me and that's annoying you too much well then you don't have to watch that's fine uh, but yeah I asked the question and most people said they can actually hear me when I'm spraying and I guess if you miss one or two things it's not going to be the end of the world anyway I'm probably just talking shit. Yeah, well, there we go. The belt stopped slipping. You can actually notice an in increase in the um, airflow in the boat. Yeah, I had to fix a few of that guy's dents as well here. And there's one on the quarter panel too he missed. It was all rough inside here too and I fixed that before I primed it actually. And then he doesn't go and tell me about extra parts. It's alright, I'm used to it. It's not like a new thing, it doesn't really piss me off anymore, it used to. And it does when we're flat out. It's like the simplest of things, like a bit of simple communication. But we're not totally flat out at the moment anyway. Like, he's not going to have a bar of water base or waterborne. 
spoke to him when I first came back because I'd been in the water bottle shop and he goes, not in a million years. <laughs> He's old school. I think he understands like the bigger picture, which some of the painters don't tell you. They're like, oh yeah, the colors are heaps that are in waterborne. Which isn't true, because I've used that. Not with Chromax Pro or Stand Up Water. Colors are no better. It's a longer process through color mat because you're drying time. You fill up the filters in your booth twice as quickly. Um, the booth running costs are much higher because you've got to dry it out and it takes longer to dry so the booth's spending more time on the train cycle. Power consumption is going to go up with the compressors running to, dry, to feed the blowers to dry the base coat. So yeah, that's kind of a bit of the bigger picture when it comes to water. You can just smash the job out really quickly with solar. Well, I've found it's a lot quicker anyway. I hear some people saying that it's uh, just as quick, like water's just as quick, but it's just not the case for me. Couldn't be further from the truth for me. Yeah, like you see that with solvent that's flashed off ready to go. If that was water, you'd be standing there for a good, I don't know, three to five minutes, you think at least, depending on the weather and all that. Yeah, relish is like a little bit quicker on the application, because you just go bang, bang, one, two, drop down, but I don't know. I like water, I like solvent. Yeah, this is where I had to do like really rough repair down there. See all those little bits of silicon popping out? Opening up. So I'm just putting a bit of a duster on. probably easier to just puff a bit of colour over them and to touch them up. Do a little couple there too. for spot repairs too I've found the solvent you know you can do a little spot repairs in the workshop but you just in the middle of winter man you're just pushing shit uphill to try and do a spot repair with water in the workshop They say you use less material, which is kind of a little bit half proof. <laughs> Technically, yeah, you do, but like if I'm to mix up, all right, this is a, a dark color, like nearly black, so I only mix up 250 for each bump part. But it would be the same amount if it was water. 
The only thing is, I put thinners in it. So all you save is a bit of cheap dinner. That's all you're really saving. I would still mix the same amount up, but you add the dinner in the dolman, but you don't add it in the water, and you do get a little bit better coverage, like less coats to cover. But as you see, two coats are covered with that anyway. You still need to put two coats on if it was water, so. All right, I'm gonna go clean this gun out and um, get some clear in the gun. Back in the back gunners. back to it. I, I put it out and got them out of the car, better clear them at the same time. Um, so yeah, just got the supernova, rotor position, just going to pump this clear on. It's blank in about 10 minutes, so not here to um, muck around. <laughs> get a couple of cuts of clear down and get out of here. I don't like working through my lunch break. So yeah, got the liquid glass and 10% oh sorry, 5% producer. I found it just the easy. It's so easy to spray at 5%. I might end up lowering that a little bit on like certain European cars who want to get like a ultra glassy finish out of it. As I said before, this is just a uh, car yard job. So you got the extra fast clear here too. Extra fast with the glass. I want a supernova motor position. Two bar pressure. Full, full floor. And one and three quarters turns out on the fan. Speeds it up immensely. And I just love using this thing. I love looking at it. I love spraying clear with it. it. Takes a very nice photo, I'll tell you what. It's popular on YouTube too. I put a, put a video with this gun in it, guess what's the view? I'm actually pretty keen to try the, um, the new starter jet. They've got a uh, 5500X. So it was like probably yeah, 575 ready for use. All included. Look at my house, just have a 
and a half today. Yeah, well, maybe it doesn't. Maybe it doesn't go through that much extra clear. I guess it kind of looks like it does. There's a fair bit of over spray, but... I don't know, that's, that's not... 1275 mils for a job that size isn't excessive. That's killer. I'm wrapped with that. Honestly, I don't even think we'll polish this job. The car yada, looks good off the gun. Maybe one or two, that's about it. Have a look at that beauty, mate. Have a look at that thing. I love it. Have a look at that gun and have a look at that finish, mate. You can't beat it. I think I'm banging on about this clear so much, it's because it's awesome. This channel's always been about like finding things that are good value for money. And this clear definitely fits in with the value for money side of things. I love it. Anyway, that's as I said, lunch is on the way, so I'm gonna get out of here, clean those clear guns out. I'll see you in the next one, Gunners. Get out there and paint some shit.